I come from a fine art background as well as a writing background and it felt important to me to be at an institution where practice is happening so I was kind of able to engage with photographers or designers as part of my research. Hi, I'm Jessie Bond. I'm a research student here at London College of Communication and I'm also a freelance writer writing about contemporary art and photography. So my PhD research is about conflict, war photography and the photo book. So I'm looking at how documentary photographers and photojournalists use the photo book as a way to publish their images of conflict rather than newspapers or magazines or online. Within that, I'm interested in representations of violence and what the photo book can offer um, as an alternative space to the mainstream news media. So at the moment, I'm working on developing a frame, a kind of theoretical framework for my PhD, um, looking at the photo book. Photographers or photography has always appeared in the book, um, but in more recent years, the photo book has become a very popular phenomena within the photography world, but also it's beginning to become an area of academic study. So people kind of looking at how the photo book is used and um, the ways in which photographers present their work in the book format. What I'm interested in is looking at the history of war photography and how that intersects with the history of the photo book. So for example, historically photographers maybe saw the photo book as an autonomous space where they had more freedom to present their work, um, to tell a more kind of complete narrative about things that they had witnessed. Now photographers have much more um, choice in in places for their photographs to be distributed. So for example, on social media or on the internet. And what I'm really curious about is why they still prefer or choose to publish their photographs within books. So before starting my PhD here, um, I did an MA at the Royal College of Art in critical writing and art and design. And the final project that I worked on there was about um, representations of conflict within photography and film and I felt like I wasn't finished with that topic and I wanted to carry on researching in that area um, and I became really interested in the book and the way that contemporary photographers and artists use the book format. Thinking about where I could do this research I looked at various institutions but I felt that London College of Communication offered an environment that would fit my research interests really well having kind of areas of specialism within photojournalism and documentary photography, but also in graphic design and publishing. So at the moment I'm kind of two years into doing the PhD part-time, so I feel in some ways I'm still just beginning. I feel like I've spent a lot of time defining what it is that I want to do and kind of redefining the ways that I'm going to do it, which has been a really interesting process. I think something I've been quite surprised by is the role that practice has had in my research. As I mentioned, it's mainly theory-based, but there are certain, I guess, kind of methods that I'm borrowing from, from practice, such as making videos of photo books or taking photographs of photo books, which have actually become part of my investigation into the form. Um, and that's something that I wasn't expecting or hadn't planned to do. Yeah, I feel that I've really been encouraged by my supervisors to present my work at conferences and at symposiums and to take part in events both within LCC and outside of LCC. And that's been a really positive experience for me, both in terms of helping to define what I'm doing and also meeting other researchers in the field. For me, the research culture at LCC is, like I said, kind of about making public um, opportunities to share what you're doing both with a cohort and community here but also publicly or with other academics within the field. So two of my supervisors here are from the photojournalism and documentary photography department and then I also have one from graphic design so I feel that it's really great to have that balance of um, input from the different fields that, that my research is crossing over. I think being a research student here, one of the positive things is the connections I've made with other research students and the support from that community. Being able to share ideas or be influenced by other people's work or research.